Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning class. It's Miss Bella again. How are you today? I hope you are doing excellent as always. Today we are going to continue with unit 8. How the tiger got its stripes. Grammar. Let's do some recap on previous lesson. Kita cuba ingat kembali what did we learn in previous lesson? Apa yang telah, telah dipelajari dalam uh, pelajaran yang lalu? Alright. Um we are going to continue with conjunctions. Do you remember what are conjunctions? What are they used for and what are the conjunctions? Apakah Kata hubung yang telah kita pelajari. Let's take a look. Based on your English textbook, page 80, conjunctions are words that link two independent clauses to form a sentence. Conjunctions adalah perkataan yang menghubungkan dua klosa yang Boleh berdiri sendiri untuk membentuk satu ayat. Okay, conjunctions allow you to form complex, more elegant sentences and avoid the choppiness of multiple short sentences. Kalau ada conjunction, kata hubung ni ayat kamu akan jadi lebih elegant dan dia akan mengelakkan ayat yang berbunyi macam terputus-putus yang tidak lancar. Okay, but make sure that the phrases joined by conjunctions are parallel. You want to use conjunctions, but you have to make sure that you use this correctly. The conjunctions that we learned before are fanboys, F for, A for and, N for no, B for but. O for or, Y for yet, and S for so. So, what are the three conjunctions that we're going to look at today? Let's go. Number one, since. Number two, although. And number three, because. Since, although, and because. You can see these words, these conjunctions on your textbook. Open your textbook, page 81. Muka surat 81. Buku teks kamu. The first conjunction we are looking at today is since. Since is used to express cause and effect. Digunakan untuk menyatakan cause, punca dan effect. Akibat. Sebab. Dan akibat. I put the picture of some dominoes here. Ada gambar domino dekat sebelah kiri tu on your left side. Okay, just like the first piece of domino, when you push the first piece, the other pieces at the back will fall too. So, punca dia adalah domino yang pertama yang ditolak, tolakkan kamu. And then, uh, akibat dia adalah mereka semua jatuh. Okay, so you have, you need the cause and effect if you want to use since. Okay, it's not necessarily to be used in front of a sentence. Tak semestinya digunakan di hadapan ayat. You can use it uh, in the middle too. It's no problem. Just that you have to change the structure, the arrangement of your clauses. Right, since here. So where is the cause? Where is the effect? Okay. So, punca dia adalah, you are very kind, awak sangat baik, ini punca dia. Okay, so apa akibat dia? Saya akan belikan awak satu hadiah. I will buy you a gift. Alright, if you want to use since in the middle, you have to change the placement of the clauses. Alright, boleh gunakan since di tengah, tapi kena tukar kedudukan um, kedudukan klosa yang uh, digunakan ini. Kena letak apa dulu? Kita kena letak effect dulu. Alright. I will buy you a gift 
kita akan belikan awak satu hadiah since lepas tu baru kamu letak conjunction since you are very kind you are very kind okay so now the placement of the clauses is different you letak efek di hadapan barulah you letak uh, punca di belakang okey boleh gunakan di tengah juga tak semestinya uh, in front of the sentence okey since in bahasa can be said as boleh juga dikenali sebagai oleh kerana ataupun oleh sebab okey there's another use for since ada satu lagi kegunaan dia related to time but in this case it's a conjunction untuk express cause and effect second conjunction for today is although although what is although used for it is used to show contrast show contrast untuk menunjukkan perbezaan or difference in ideas percanggahan perbezaan dalam idea di satu ayat yang sama. Okay, talking about contrast, do you remember in fanboys there are also two two conjunctions that they are used to uh, to show contrast to. Ada dua dalam fanboy tu ada dua conjunction kata hubung yang digunakan untuk menunjukkan percanggahan juga. Can you remember? Can you recall the words? What are the words? I give you five seconds to think. Okay, time's up. The first one is but. Second one is yet. Okay, the meaning is almost similar. The use is also almost similar. In this sentence, although is used in front of the sentence, digunakan di hadapan ayat. Okay, can you use but and yet in front of a sentence in the beginning? Boleh tak gunakan perkataan but and yet di hadapan? No, you can't use that. But although you can use in front and also in the middle. Although boleh digunakan di kedua-dua uh, lokasi. Nak letak kat depan ataupun di tengah-tengah, dua-dua boleh. Okay, uh, what is the contrast? Where is the contrast? Di manakah perbeza perbezaan antara plus? yang pertama dan clause yang kedua. Okay, the first clause is the man is old. Tua. He is very strong. Sangat kuat. Okay, we think about this uh, logically. Normally, kebiasaannya. Kalau orang itu old, tua, biasanya dia weak, lemah. But in this sentence, since it's uh, the old, the man is strong, lelaki itu yang tua itu dia kuat jadi dia ia sesuatu yang uh, unusual tidak biasa ha, sebab itulah kita gunakan perkataan although menunjukkan contrast percanggahan ha, sebab kita kita kena fikir logik lah for sentence usually we talk about things logically okay if you want to use although in the middle nak gunakan although di tengah-tengah boleh but you have to change the placement of the sentence okay the the clauses you, you must change the placement okay let me show you okay we start with the this is the first clause this is the second clause if you want to use although in the middle you use the second clause first okay he we can we cannot use he to start a sentence because we didn't introduce he first so kita kena perkenalkan dulu he tu siapa he is the man so the man is very strong okay comma although he is old okay if you want to put it in the middle you put the comma letakkan tanda koma okay although that's how you do it the third conjunction for today is because because 
Because it's used to show reason untuk menunjukkan sebab. Kita gunakan because untuk ayat bila kita nak tunjukkan sebab. Show reason. Alright. Uh, do you remember when we learned fanboys before? There is also one conjunction in fanboys that is used to show reason. Can you name that conjunction? Five seconds. Okay, the answer is four. Okay, perkataan four ini ada dalam fanboys. Maksud dia uh, ataupun kegunaan dia sama show to show reason. Alright, uh, let's look at the sample uh, sentence here. Tengok contoh ayat. She is late to school because she missed the bus. She is late to school because she missed the bus. Okay, where is the reason? Manakah dia punya akib, uh, sebab? Sebabnya adalah inilah. Dia tertinggal bus. Uh, sebab kepada dia lewat late to school ni adalah kerana dia ketinggalan bus. Okay, uh, question. If, uh, kalau ada yang tertanya-tanya, Miss, can I use because in front in the beginning of a sentence? Boleh tak guna di hadapan ayat? Yes, absolutely, you can do that. But, you must remember, since because is used as conjunction sebagai kata hubung, so you need to have uh, more than one clause. Mesti ada lebih pada satu clause dalam ayat tersebut. Uh, biasanya kan dalam uh, section C, if the question asks you to give reason, I always advise you not to start with because, but start with it is, betul tak? Kalau buat section C kan, soalan yang memerlukan um, penjelasan. Kenapa kamu rasa watak ini buat macam ni? Uh, I selalu nasihatkan jangan mulakan dengan because. Kenapa? If you start with because in the sentence, dalam section C tersebut, dia adalah uh, kurang tepat sebab awak tidak menghubungkan uh, klosa. Uh, awak cuma start dengan because kerana apa-apa-apa. So, that is not uh, accurate but in this case if you want to use it as conjunction you can use because in front of the sentence let me show you but of course just like uh, just like um, although and since you must change the placement of the clauses okay this is the first clause this is the second clause okay if you want to put because in front you must change okay you must change and you must put the second clause first and then baru first clause. Okay, let me write that sentence down for you. Okay, I'm going to write um, quite small at the bottom here. I hope you can still see. Alright, she, she missed, sorry, sorry. Not she missed. Okay, not she missed. She is late to school. Sorry, she missed the bus. I'm so sorry. We have to put because. Oh my gosh, I forgot. We put because first. Okay, I forgot the word because. We put because first. Okay, so because, because she missed the bus. Okay, don't forget to put your comma and then baru letak conjunction, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, second clause. Okay, letak conjunction, kita dah guna dah tadi, uh, conjunction tadi. So, because she missed the bus, comma. She is late to school. Okay, that's how you do it. Alright. Letak reason dia dulu baru letak um, uh, clause yang pertama. Letak sebab dulu. Okay. Because I didn't eat breakfast, I felt hungry. Okay, letak sebab dulu. Because I drink too much. I want to go to toilet often. Okay? 
Now let's try and do some practices from page 81 textbook. All right, let's do some exercise. This one I want you to do in your writing book. You can also refer to these answers that uh, I write on this, on your screen now. Um, I'm going to explain to you while, while I do this, okay? Uh, fill in the blanks with since, although, or because. Isi tempat kosong dengan tiga kata hubung yang baru kita belajar. Okay, since, let's recall. Since referring to uh, cause and effect okay ada sebab dan akibat cause and effect although contrast something yang bertentangan bercanggah because is used for to show reason untuk menunjukkan sebab okay this is what i always do i always uh, put little notes when I do exercise for me to remember better all right he was busy he did go out to play busy did not go out to play sibuk tidak keluar bermain okay adakah kedua-dua ini bercanggah is it uh, are they contrasting one another no tidak bercanggah all right so which one is the best answer since he was busy he did not go out to play or because he was busy he did not go out to play okay the answer can be either since or because kalau you since he was busy he did not go out to play uh, this is the cause and this will be the effect all right Alright, kalau you letak because pun betul juga. Ini dia, dia akan jadi reason, sebab. Ha, kenapa dia tidak pergi bermain? Sebab dia adalah, um, sebab dia busy. Okay, so if I, I'm going to choose since. Okay, I akan guna since dekat sini. Okay, jawapan dia boleh jadi since, boleh juga jadi because. He is very tired. He did not sleep last night. He is very tired. Tired, penat. Uh, did not sleep last night. Alright, is this contrasting? Adakah mereka uh, dua, dua penyataan ini bertentangan? No, tidak bertentangan. Uh, letih, tidak tidur. Biasanya memang kalau tak tidur, memang letih. Okay, so which one? Uh, penat did not sleep last night he is very tired although he did not sleep last night no although salah is very tired because he did not sleep last night yes he is very tired since he did not sleep last night yes too boleh juga okay he is poor miskin always help people in need sentiasa membantu orang yang memerlukan okay this Statements are contrasting Bercanggah satu sama lain Biasanya kalau uh, miskin Tak ada duit, uh, susah nak bantu orang But he Always helps people So the answer should be Although Although he is poor He always helps people in Need Okay, number four The boy did not buy the t-shirt It was too expensive the boy did not, did not, tidak beli. Kenapa? It was too expensive. Terlalu mahal. Okay, adakah mereka bercanggah? Tidak beli, terlalu mahal. Okay, tidak bercanggah. Biasanya memanglah kalau um, terlalu mahal, memang kita tak beli lah kan? Ha. So, antara since dengan because. The boy did not buy the t-shirt since it was too expensive. Or the boy did not buy the t-shirt because it was too expensive both answers can be used All right it was raining heavily hujan dengan lebat she went out to meet her friend dia keluar pergi jumpa kawan dia keluar hujan-hujan lebat adakah uh, dua penyataan ini bercanggah are they contrasting one another 
Yes, bercanggah. Biasanya rain kan, hujan lebat. Kita tak keluar, kita stay at home, right? But this girl, she went out to meet her friend. So the answer should be although. Although it was raining heavily, she went out to meet her friend. Alright, six. The traffic was heavy. Um, traffic was heavy. Um, sesak lah, jalan raya yang sesak. Traffic was heavy. Uh, I sampai on time. On time. Betul-betul tepat pada waktu untuk meeting. Alright. Traffic heavy. Sampai on time. Adakah mereka bercanggah? Yes. These statements are contrasting. So, we can use um, although. Alright. For number six. Because they are contrasting. We are going for a picnic. The weather is cool and refreshing. Uh, nak pergi berkela, cuacanya nyaman dan menyegarkan. Okay, adakah contrast? No, tidak bercanggah. Memang biasa kita pergi piknik waktu cuaca yang uh, sejuk dan nyaman, right? So, antara since or because. We are going for a picnic since the weather is cool and refreshing. Or you can also use because for this one. Right, number eight. Idis is very happy. Sangat gembira. She won the first prize. Menang tempat pertama in the competition dalam pertandingan. So, the answer. Can you use although? Boleh tak guna although? No. Sebab tidak bercanggah. Happy, gembira, menang tempat pertama, tidak bercanggah. So, antara since dengan because. Idis sangat gembira kerana... Oleh kerana dia menang tempat pertama. So, boleh guna either since or because. Alright. Okay, class. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.